This week, let's flash back to the 2014 Davis Cup. Although I was pulling for Galileone in Spain, unfortunately, the results were less than fabulous. Spain has won the Davis Cup five times in 2000, 2004, 2008, 2009, and 2011, and finished as runner up four times in 1965, 1967, 2003, and 2012. Spain has competed in the World Cup for 16 consecutive years, from 1997 to 2014, which makes it historically one of the most powerful countries in the tennis world. However, this last year, when Lyon was coaching, Spain was shocked with an upset by Brazil and relegated to their respective zone group, thus dropping them out of the World Cup for the first time since 1996. On a broader note though, Roger Federer has now officially completed his wall of trophies by helping Switzerland beat France in the finals. This was Switzerland's first victory in the 114 year history of this team competition. Federer clinched the victory by defeating Richard Gasquet in straight sets. Roger insisted that this win was for the boys, saying that he has won enough in his career and you know, he didn't really need to tick off this box. Even so, I'm sure he didn't feel too guilty about adding that trophy to his massive collection. This was a huge notch on Federer's belt. And not only that, but he really had to overcome some serious feats to even get himself to this tournament. Just a week prior, Roger had pulled out of the Barclays ATP World Tour Finals final due to a back injury. And on top of that, he was having some personal drama with fellow Swiss Stan Wawrinka who he had to play doubles next to in this match against France. Roger's wife, Mirka Federer, made fun of Warinka at the ATP Tour Finals during his match against Roger, calling Stan a crybaby. Hmm. Now, this in turn caused Stan to take issue with Roger in regards to his wife's behavior. Check out this clip. No, stand, stand. No, stand. No, stand. Warinka was so agitated after the match, which Federer won in a third set tiebreaker, that the two men began arguing in the tunnel and actually had to be ushered into a makeshift gym at the side of the court just to sort out their differences. Thankfully, by the following week, Warinka and Federer had seemingly resolved their issues, and Roger even publicly thanked Warinka for being a great partner and helping him stay alive. And in return, Warinka said publicly, Roger, I still love you. Aww, well, I'm glad the boys could hug and make up, because otherwise, we may not have had such an exceptional World Tour final result. Congratulations, Roger and Switzerland, on your monumental accomplishment. Czech did not win the match. He did win many admirers for a certain generous act of sportsmanship. Nadal was serving for the match at 30 love in the fifth set when he served up a fault after a spectator yelled out during his ball toss.